put some guys. We got Malekith versus Garrett here. Um, turn one, Waterfall did 33 and it flinched to Bronzong. Anyway, um, I personally want Malekith to win this game in the Chronicles to tie the week against the Scooters. That would be good for me because that would be one less point for the Scooters. But um, anyway, this is a close series. Um, unfortunately for the Chronicles, Malekith, their team is pretty much out of contention. But the Scooters are very much in contention. In fact, they very well could be in the playoffs. Um, if not at the end of this week, then at the end of next week. So, um, yeah, they're, they're a strong team this season. And he has two strong deep. Anyway, um, Waterfall again. Can let up rocks at a bronze on here. Um, perhaps we see a switch to a ghost or a steel type. Um, instead, we're just going to see rocks from the pert. All right, fair enough. Um, it's a nicely chipped um, bronze on at least. We're going to see a skarmory here. Um, wouldn't be shocked to see a Malekith from the Malekith side. So I feel like a lot of people have used that against Malekith. But anyway, nope. We're just going to see safe spikes from Gera. Um and the Heatran that threatens both Pokemon, so we're going to see a new Pokemon from Gary this turn, surely. Surely. Um, it's a matter of what. Um, could this be? Um, this could be a number of things. It's too hard to really tell the direction of Malachi's team. It could be um, just like a berry for attack with Boom. It could be um, like Torment. I doubt it's Torment with a, like a lead offensive perk, quite frankly. It's more of a bulky team pick. It could be um, Scarf. Oh, it, it showed Leftovers, so that, that rules out a lot of things, actually. It's going to be sub. Um, okay, maybe it is Torment. I don't know. Could I have spoken too soon? I'm just waiting to say. Oh. Um, anyway, Clefable. From Gary's side, that's something that Tran uses as well against. And seeing as it's sub, it's almost definitely not boom. So, All right, nice position from Gary. We're just going to see a Flamethrower. It's going to be 31. Oh, come on, Clef. That's interesting. You don't see that every day. Um... If this is Torment, I wouldn't be shocked if he clicked it here. No, he just clicks another flame. There's 24. We're going to see a softball here. Okay. All right. The, the trans at least recovering up the fall. 23. Another come on. Not really sure what the play here is for Malekith. A lot depends on what he has in the back, but Bronzong gets a fine switch. Um, I imagine he's going to Thunderbolt in this turn. Yeah, it's going to do 30. All right. And a paralysis. Okay, that sucks. Um, if you're Gary, you're probably going to get your, on your way out of here. Um. You've got two things that pretty much want the living shit out of this, so Boom doesn't really mind it. Um, Boom might kill the opposing bronze on from here, but he surely wouldn't kill the um, Skarmory. I'm um, just looking at the early stages. I feel like Amalekith is a bit behind at this point. Um, that sucks. Can we go to Skarmory? A trick would be cool. Uh, we're not going to find out what it went for, unfortunately. Well, here's the trick. So it's Trick Iron Ball. All right, I fuck with it. Um, I definitely fuck with it. Hmm. That's cool. Um, so now this is vulnerable to Swampert as well. So Swampert looks like this pretty well against everything. I don't know if you guys seen this revealed this far. Another Flame 30, 33. Um, worth noting that a crit here probably would kill. If he goes for it, and he's not going to get it. A crit would have killed. He's going to sit soft. Yeah, that's fine. Getting your leftovers recovery, seeing as this isn't a direct threat necessarily. Um, with the Flame here on a calm mind. All right, so he's probably going to switch out on the soft boils here. If I had to guess. He's going to go to Pert. Yep. All right. So at the Pert, um, oh, it's worth noting that it's not leftovers. Interesting. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see here. Um, three Pokemon revealed on both sides. Um, Iron Ball Skarmory is definitely helpful for a Malkit side. Um, Waterfall looks quite nice here. Um, I sense the 30 to the bronze on it. Probably can do like mid 40s to the cloth, I guess. So, assuming it's faster and gets some flinches, that's big. Especially, it could be superpower, I guess. I don't know if that's a thing, really. Probably not. He's going to Rotom Heat on. Waterfall. It's going to take 44. It's looking like it's a bulkier variant, given that. Yeah, Max Tech Waterfall doing 44. Um, interesting to see what will happen here. Um, no leftovers from the perk. So, could it be like Sash or Lum or some Berry? I don't know. Lum would make some sense as a lead, I guess. Anyway, we're going to see the... Um, oh, just another waterfall into the Clefable. All right. Um, oh, Eo is playing for OST. Oh, wow. Eo is playing for OST. Not good. Not like... Oh, wrong game. Wrong... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I mean, like, I fucked up. Let me close them. My boy Eo with the Buzzwall stall. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm just clicking battle. Oh, fuck. Nice. Anyway, um, I imagine you just click waterfall again. I feel like that was Lum, given that how that was played now. Yeah, I think that had to be long.
I imagine we just see another waterfall here. Um, Earthquake should be able to kill that to 44, so yeah. Hmm. Wait and see what Malkus goes for. Jarrah is the one taking time, so maybe he's considering retreating in fear of being flinched, but I think that a softball would be a safe enough play here because the Rotom would take enough to die from Waterfall. Yeah, Waterfall looks, just part looks fantastic. It probably is Lumberry. Wow, quite, quite the threat. Um, He's going to fodder off the Rotom to Waterfall. Yeah, okay. So that puts him in a 6-5 position, and suddenly Malakith seems to be advantaged here. I'm wondering if he tries to go Bronzong and blow up. Um, that would make some sense of it, quite frankly. Um, but I, I feel like that could provoke a situation where Malakith could perhaps retreat into, say... Oh, he's on Bronzong, or perhaps even a ghost type in the back, or a secondary. Uh, actually, no, he doesn't have any other skills in the back, probably. Excuse me. Um, hmm. If I had to guess, this is like Waterfall, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Lumberry. Um, last could be a number of things. Could be like Ice Punch, Ice Beam. Toxic Focus Punch would be kind of fire, no lie. Oh, I don't think it is focus punch. Bill's bronze on, yeah, so it's probably going to boom. Um, unless he's trying to... Uh, I don't know. Oh, we killed. Oh, we crit. That's... Yeah, okay, well. That really sucks for Gera, um, but that's really good for Malekith. Um, wow. And this, this demon fucking part is just plowing on through. Hmm. <sighs> Interesting here. Hmm, Garrett's time is down to 90. I don't think he has a water resist in the back, given how he's playing this. Um, this looks really fucking dangerous. This part is absolutely destroying him. And I think he definitely got the um, fortunate end of his last turn. Oh, for sure, probably dodging an explosion. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> that trick on this Garmory is huge. Because it just gets earthquake now. And the clamp eventually gets flinched. It's slower, most definitely. Um, I don't know. This is, looks really hard for Gera, quite frankly. Time is down to 60 for him, too. Whereas Malakith's timer has got to be around full. 30 for Gera. Twenty for Gero. Okay. He finally goes to Skarm, electing to take the earthquake in return for just um whirling it out of I guess. Yeah, okay. He's gonna whirl out a flygon who is now um, able to also to earthquake this. Um and he named it after Miltank Milk, interestingly enough. Um Alright, so Ladios here on um, wait. You get a Ladios this whole time. He had a Latios this whole time and he never went to it on that perk? I'm not sure I understand. Okay, so both have Latios. Interesting. Um, both also have leftovers Latios. Hmm. Huh. What could the last be for Kith? Could it be a Tar? That would make some sense. Um, other things that could make some sense. Um, I don't think it's a Star. I mean, oh, there's a Tar from Gera. Interestingly enough, and we're going to see the Dragon Pulse bounce off that for 23. All right, that's fair. Um, probably going to put him in a 6-2, uh, 5-3 position after this goes down. But he's going to get enough tip on this Tyranitar to where Outrage from Flygon looks insanely menacing to the last three. And it's actually going to be Scar. And it's going to do 76 from Crunch. Crunch. So, um, 
He has potential to switch out and live Stealth Rock if he wishes to, but I'm not sure if that's necessarily to play. Um, Following the Heat Trend doesn't really solve much. Um, actually, this Clefable into a Kill Range? Clefable is into a Kill Range potential. Ah, after Leftover is probably not. Uh, he's going to elect to go Heat Trend though, just to preserve that anyway, which is a fair play. Um, Crunch is going to do a mere 18% as it is resisted in this generation. And it's going to bounce off, essentially. Um, Latios is going to come in here on Flamethrower. Um, uh, no burn. Oh, it is a burn. Oh, there's a burn. All right, so that looks like it's a pretty nice turn for Malekith, that burn. Um, secondary effect's really unfortunate for Gera in this game. Uh, I guess if you count crit system anyway, crit, burn, etc. So yeah. Um, hmm. All right, so it looks as if um, Malakith is in a ridiculously commanding position at this point. Um, not sure how Gera intends to get out of this. Um, I mean, the Latias being burnt really also cripples its, its longevity, but that coupled with the threat of outrage, I don't know. Mm. If you're Malakith here, personally, I just go Bronzong, but... Oh, Flamethrower, that's fine. I mean, it's down to 69 anyway. Um... I feel like Bronzong is probably explosion on this team. Um, maybe he's just trying to get it in on a turn where he knows he's not going to get attacked. Hmm. Anyway, let's wait and see what he elects to go for here. I think Bronzong is pretty safe, though. But perhaps he's just trying to get the leftovers on the train, and it's going to flamethrower again. And that one's going to crit, doing 35%. Um... That does forcing a recover, so it's um, some nice timely luck once more for Malekith. That's just unfortunate. And now he's going to take this opportunity to get in the... Oh, right, it's... Wait, it's grounded? Pardon? Oh, I guess they run heat proof. I guess they run heat proof with that. That makes a lot of... Duh. All right, I... I, I, I yeah, all right, so it takes spikes. Now it's at 21, but it should be able to live a Dragon Pulse depending on the investment of both of these Pokemon, but I'd imagine it lives. Um, well, with 1 or 2%. No, it's going to die to a critical hit. Um, so perhaps evening it out a little bit, although not enough, unfortunately. Um, but the fly gun's going to be able to come in here. Um, the question is, it's going to earth is it going to outrage or U turn? I'd imagine it U turns. Um, Gary is probably forced out here, but I don't know if he really has much to go to. He could very well fall off the Tyranitar. That would make some sense. Um, the main issue is. But um, the Clefable is at 62, so it should be able to live in a single outrage. Like, Gary is saying that th that perp set is the set Panic came up with at the beginning of SPL in the chat. Um, well, I guess he's talking while his timer's at 30. Interesting. Um, I mean, I, it's not like this is insanely complicated at this point. I think he just fires off the tar or tries to risk a U-turn and stays in here. I don't think he could afford to go Clef at this point. Gary's timer's on the 15. And he's going to do just that. He's going to fight off the Tyranitar, unsurprisingly. And it's going to actually provoke an outrage from Malekith. So perhaps that indicates that his last is something that can definitely handle the Latias. If not, then I'm not sure if that was necessarily the optimal play. Although Clefable might softball instead of Ice Beam, thus saving the life of the Flygon. Or maybe the Flygon eats an Ice Beam. And, oh, shit. It dropped. Whoa, I did not expect that. All right, so they both dropped good game. Um, Is this voice ended then? Not Scarf? I mean, I think it has to be Scarf, right? Everything else is slow as fuck. I guess a lot depends on the last, quite frankly. No, it is Scarf. Or it is a really slow Latias. Either way, um, Malakas is going to walk away with a, a fortunate but dominant, nevertheless, 5-0 victory against Gera. Good game.